Right, hello everybody, welcome to Bible Study, where, well, we, well, you guessed it, we're studying the Bible. The Bible of what not to do with your life, and you are going to find that all in this video. Right, is that the bots gone? Right, okay, on with the actual video. Here is just a few examples of this map pride that is happening on Gacha. So what if I'm a minor attractive person? I have rights to love children and frick them. I think maps are part of the LGBTQ community. Oh, mommy. Come closer. No thank you, get in the bin. Baby mode. Sexy mode. I mean, like, what even is this? This is basically like the equivalent bootleg version of what Lolly is. And we all know what Lolly is. It's absolutely disgusting because it's basically trying to replicate real life images. And <laughs> it's just so uncomfortable to look at. And honestly, I don't know how this is allowed. A girl as young as 10 was asked to send a topless picture to verify her age on Gacha Life app. Well, we're going to have to talk about that, aren't we? Right, hello gamer virgins, I hope you're all well and staying hydrated and still have your eyesight after my previous videos you may have watched on Gacha Life. Today we are talking about maps. If you don't know what maps are, it's absolutely disgusting. It stands for minor attracted person or people. And let me just tell you something about these maps, right? They are incredibly cocky. They are so goddamn cocky, they make Twitter accounts to boast about how proud they are that they like kids. And I'm not talking about they just like kids, they very much like kids and would like to be with them. And I would love to call them what they actually are, but because YouTube would demonetize me, I have to call them maps. And today's topic is a bit more of a serious one when it comes to Gacha. And with my growing platform and presence, I thought I could help out and should make you aware of this issue, which still seems to be very prevalent in the Gacha life scene. I was linked an article talking about this on the app. Granted, the article is from July 26th, 2019, and you could argue that these issues aren't a problem anymore but they are. DMs you guys have sent me on Twitter, Instagram and Discord have basically proven to me that this still seems to be going on in some way and with some of the art on the app I've actually reacted to shows me that a small minority of the gacha community, not all of them, seem to almost thrive and encourage this type of behaviour. Like I say in all my videos on gacha, it is only a small part of the gacha community making content around this so please do not go out of your way to target anyone who does enjoy gacha. With all that being said, let's check out the article. Hey guys, this is me actually editing the video again as YouTube demonetized the video, so I had to censor some of the words with something else. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. Don't cancel me. A young girl was asked to send an inappropriate photo to verify her age on a children's cartoon app, Gacha Life. She was playing on the dress up anime game when she received a private message requesting a photo of her bare chest. The message told her the group is a safe space for girls under 14 and she would have to send an inappropriate photo to prove she met the guidelines or else she would be permanently banned. But the mom and secondary school teacher who has a strict parental controls on all of their devices regularly warns her daughter of the dangers of speaking to strangers online. The widowed mom of one says this incident highlights how easy it is for maps to slip through the net. What we're going to look at now is actually the message that was sent to the child. Welcome to this Amino. My name is Mandy and I work with Amino. So if you don't know, this is a safe space for young girls. We require users to be 14 and younger. If you fit these requirements, you can be here. We also have to make sure that all members here are girls. To verify this, I will need from you a photo of your bare spaghetti with a bra on if you feel uncomfortable and your age. This is just an extra security feature, but all members must do this. Users that refuse to do this will be permanently banned. I mean, it's just absolutely disgusting that these type of people are trying to take advantage of children like this. I mean, looking at this, me and you, the viewer, might look at this and be like, what even is this? What kind of website or service provider would ask for this? I mean, I get stuck on trying to make a new account on Roblox with their capture of Flip the Animal. God knows how many times I've failed at spotting the fire hydrant too. But imagine if YouTube asked me when I made my account, Hey, th there's a lot of content on this website for mature audiences. If you could just send me a picture of your cock to verify you're old enough to be on here, that would be great. I don't blame the creators of Gacha for this, not at all, because with any foreign based platform like this, it's unfortunately going to encounter this type of problem at some point. But like I said, from having short conversations with viewers who watch my videos, they've mentioned that even their friends make content which encourages this and almost see it as something to joke about and almost be accepted. Maps are dangerous and if you don't see me as accepting, accepting them of being allowed to be part of the LGBTQ, 
Tough spaghetti, I don't care, they're disgusting. If I had a kid and I knew that this was going around them or even making content like this, I'd immediately take away any access to it. Amino actually did respond at the time saying, keeping Amino safe is our top priority. Amino apps said they have zero tolerance for inappropriate contact with young individuals and report all incidents of this type of thing happening to the National Center for Missing Children. An Amino spokesperson said, keeping Amino safe is our top priority. We have a zero tolerance for any type of inappropriate contact with minors. We automatically remove any imagery in order to prevent this type of content from being sent or received here and we deploy the most advanced technologies available to assist with the enforcement of these rules. I know it might come across as contradictory to what I said before about I don't blame the creators of Gacha, but if this is an article from over a year ago now, and this problem is still very much a problem, then they clearly are not using the most advanced technologies to tackle this issue, because it's honestly gotten much worse. Even on Twitter, people are talking about this and almost openly boasting about it. The Gacha Life community is a map paradise. We also have another article here. Mom's horror after daughter nine sent inappropriate pictures to a map on a video app after he threatened to take her away. The youngster has been left traumatized after she was tricked into sharing snaps with a user posing as a teenage boy. You're cute, thanks. Someone told me cheerleaders have big spaghettis and BTS. I don't know what BTS stands for. Her mom, who we are not naming, said the creep told her daughter he would find her and take her away from mommy if she didn't send the photos. She is now hit out of the app, which allows users to post videos using magic filters with over 200 million subscribers worldwide after her daughter was chillingly targeted for five months. Her daughter, who is still affected by what happened, is still having a lot of issues in school. She is also having scary dreams and is struggling to sleep because she is frightened this man is coming to find her. I mean, just imagine this. You leave your child on an app which is meant to be used for young kids and I guess young teenagers, and you've got these incredibly creepy individuals who are targeting them simply for being on an app or a program which they enjoy. The mom even actually logged onto the app here to see what kind of messages she was receiving, and upon opening the app was met with a barrage of messages from maps asking her to play dares and begging for inappropriate pictures. What's my final thoughts on this? Well, for starters, it would be actually putting in, I don't know, a better support system to report these creeps and content like this, as this has no place anywhere. I'll never support maps. I know some people want to see them as part of the LGBTQ community, but I just think it's disgusting. I mean, seriously, how can that be allowed? I made this video just to bring awareness that these type of people are running rampant on apps like this and very blatantly in the gacha community and I just want people to be safe when using this type of thing or any social media for that matter. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to be that YouTuber but I feel like if this video needs to be seen share it with your friends just so they are aware about this. I know we all know that these 12 plus gacha videos are bad but there really is a dark side behind it. All my socials are below. Discord is where I'm most active. I hope you game of virgins have a good day and I will see you all next time. Warning, this video includes gay. Wait, gay kissing scenes. <laughs> this video includes gay. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Let me try that again.